Kathy, but Miss Kathy wanted to go visit her family. So I'm here, and we are going to take it like they said, so she can see how I did with her family. <laughs> um, today I'm going to read two stories. Um, one is a Cuban folk tale, and the other one is a poem. Alrighty, and the folk tale is going to go really quick, but we're just trying to get through it together, alright? This hotel is about a bossy, bullying rooster, so I really hope we all learn some lessons. All right. So it starts off with the rooster walking down the street, trying to look very nice and clean for his uncle's wedding. His uncle happens to be a parrot. But the rooster was so hungry, and so when he saw a little bean on the side of the road and some mud, he decided he was going to eat the bean. So he eats the bean, now his beak's dirty, not looking good for the wedding. So the rooster, being a real bully, see some grass on the side of the road. He said, grass, you clean my feet. And grass said, no, no, no. The rooster, he is not going to be deterred. The rooster goes to Mr. Goat. And he said, goat, you go eat grass. And goat said, no, no, no. I love grass. Well, rooster is a bully, so that's not going to stop him. So he said, stick. You go hit goat. And Stick says, no, I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. Is Rooster going to be deterred? No, he's not. He sees fire and he says, fire, you go burn Stick. Fire, of course, being nice, is going to say, no, I'm not going to burn Stick. No, no, no. And it doesn't end because the rooster just won't give up. He says, water, you go quench fire. And water, of course, doesn't like the way rooster's asking. So he says, no, no, no. Now, rooster's being really, really sad right now. His beak's still dirty, and he's going to be unclean and probably miss his uncle's wedding. So he sits down in the shade, and he looks up to his friend's son. He comes in every morning, so they're pretty close. And he says, son, I really, 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 really need to go to my uncle's wedding. So could you please, 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 dry up water so water will quench fire, so fire will burn the stick, so the stick will catch goat, so goat will eat the grass, so grass will clean my feet. And the son says, well, you asked pretty nice, so sure, yes, yes, yes. And then water heard how nicely the rooster asked, and water says, you know what, I'll go punch fire on my own. Didn't have to ask. Yes, yes, yes. And fire says, well, water came to me and asked me nicely, so I'll go ahead and tap the stick. Sure, yes, yes, yes. And stick, of course, says, why not? Everyone seems to be asking very nicely, so I will go ahead and tap the goat. Yes. And the yeah, goat Bob. says, I'll go ahead and talk to Grass about this situation. Yes, yes, yes. And Grass says, I didn't even know about Uncle Peel's wedding. You should have just told me. I'll clean your feet. Yes, yes, yes. And so Mr. Bully Rooster learned that if he asked nicely, he could get his feet clean and end up at Uncle Peel's wedding. He made it there. So that is a Cuban folk tale. And it's told very quickly. Now this one is called In the Small, yeah. Small Pond. It's a poem. Yeah. A lot of people don't think that poetry yeah. can be um, in children's book form, but I found a lot of great ones. So you have any suggestions for that? Yeah. And this is a Caldecott medal. Those are ones where they have really nice pictures. So we'll have to see if we like these. Pictures. So it starts off in the small, small pond. Does anyone see? In a small, small pond, wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles wiggle. Everyone see the tadpoles? Waddle, waddle, he's parade. And those are little people. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. Does anyone know what these little things are? They're called dragons. What else do we have in mind? Rose, those eyes, rose. Does anyone recognize what these are? They're kind of hard to see. Anyone know what these are? It looks like they're turtles. <laughs> With their eyes closed. Lash, lunge, hair on sponge. It's a big, beautiful one. Yeah. And splatter, splatter, minnow, scatter. 
So we have little meat here. These are little fish, and they're playing in the pond. And circle swirls, briefly swirl. And these look like they're some sort of fun. You want to see the little buggies? These are all the things in a small pond. Hopefully the weather will warm up and we'll see something. And it says, sweet swoop, swallow swoop. Another bright, beautiful bird. And click, clack, claw, scratch. And what do we have here? These are lobsters. Okay. Maybe they're crawfish. Crawfish are more likely to be in ponds other than that. And dabble, dip, tail, flip. Now, same way I see what these are. And what kind of bird? And splish, splash, paw, splash. Did anyone recognize this animal? With the little. Looks like he had glasses on in the ears. That's a rat It's a tile pack muskrat stack. A little muskrat. And chill breeze, winter breeze. Oh, uh, looks like it's cooling off. It's been a full year at the pond. And cold night, these pipe small, small. And those are our stories. Then what really quick? <laughs> Be more than happy to keep reading if you want. I'm here all day. Let's see the other poems that are pretty good. You know what? A lot of people are telling me they like Eric and Carl. So we're going to read a little bit of those. The kids seem to like it. He makes me a little dizzy, but we're going to flip through anyway. Earlier today, I read a book called Lion and Mouse by Jerry Pickney. It had no words, so we had to make up the words together. That was fun. It had a lot of creatures. So this says, slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along the branch of a tree. There's a lot of branches. Looks like some of them escaped. Fortunately, that's my We got her. <laughs> slowly, 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 the sloth asleep. And I should probably say it even more so the sloth was there. And slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. Do we see the sloth sleeping? And slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. All day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Do you see the sloth hanging upside down? The sloth is a very slow animal. And all night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Still hanging upside down. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. The sloth is like hanging upside down in the tree. Even when it's raining. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day. The sloth didn't answer. I like that as a rude question. Why are you so quiet? This came and asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so mean? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long time. Finally, the sloth replied, It is true that I am slow and boring and I am lackadaisical. I dawdle and I dilly down. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, and mellow, laid back, and well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil, and I like to live in peace, but I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, that's just how I am. I like to do things, slowly, slowly, slowly. Is that a sloth? It looks like a panda bear. <laughs> and these are just the such as some of the animals we learned about today. I know. Can you point out something that might go, Rrr. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Mibayoshi, that's a little cat. Do you know what cats say? Maybe they go, Rrr. And monkeys? What do monkeys do? Maybe they go, <laughs> And what other fun animals do we have? Well, we have an anaconda. That's a very big snake. And I guess they flicker. Maybe they can.
So I'm going to leave this book over here and everybody can take a look at some of the animals we learned about today. So thank you very much for indulging me with my second story time ever. The first one, I'm not even going to tell you how it went. It'll be on Facebook if you want to see. <laughs> and uh, Miss Kathy will be here next week. So thank